you damn devils will not escape judgment, and neither will you other nations. All right, call Halal Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Ha Raka Kodash. <clears throat> Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and honors to you, brothers, right, uh, who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith, risking your lives, risking your freedom uh, to do so. Okay, Yahweh Bahashem Yashai. Alright, to you sincere, you hopeful elect, you brothers and you few sisters who um uh listen and subscribe to the teachings of Yahweh Bahashim Shai. So Slakia. Based out of the Wall Street Journal, uh, this is just a really quick uh update. US and Iran agreed to resume talks on nuclear deal. Uh, it says um, President Sleepy has said he wants the U.S. to return to the deal uh, that the U.S. exited in 2018. Now, if you remember uh, your boy uh, DJ, DJT, all right, <clears throat> uh, he had gotten up out of that deal. Now, on the screen right here, you got, um, you got uh, uh, Ru Ruhani. Who's the president of uh, Iran? Which Iran really is Persia. So this this guy is uh really is Elam. He's a he's an Elamite man. And the thing about Elam, Elam, you know, acts like he's allies with uh, with E, but really he's not, man. And the, all these talks that you see for. Those who can't see it, uh, and those who don't have any faith that you know, they're saying, Oh, well, you know, it looks like everything's gonna be normal. Fuck no. All right, excuse my language, but this this the time uh that first Thessalonians chapter five is speaking about, man. And and through the spirit lately, you haven't really been hearing nothing in the news as far as uh, you know, warfare and different things like that. So hey man, <laughs> we we about to see that. Are right, we going to see warfare in our lifetime? We're going to see war, death, and destruction like we've never seen before. All right, so uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to start from the top. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Yeah, so the brethren ultimately goes into the elect. All right, it says, ye have no need that I write unto you. So, so hey, man, the hopeful elect knows what time it is. Like you, like how Jake says in the world, oh, you already know. You already know. You already know what time it is. You know, that's a you know that's a that's a very common saying uh, that, that Jake likes to bring up. It says verse two for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh, Salakia, so cometh as a thief in the night. So before our Lord uh, shows up on the scene, a handful of things have to take place including uh, the chip, okay, and then uh, ult ultimately the breakdown of society coming after that chip. Once you have the chip coming on the scene, I mean, it could be, you know, literally days after the chip is made mandatory that, that everything could just break down, you know. <clears throat> For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Woo! So they talking about peace, safety. And see, the guy on this screen, he not he he don't want peace. He don't want safety through the spirit. <laughs> hey, through the spirit, he wants this shit to end too. He wants this um uh, uh charade to come to an end. <clears throat> All right. So the article says, and it says, uh, it's uh, eleven forty four. Thwadiya bashim yasha. Uh, the U.S. and Iran will take part in talks next week in Vienna aimed at reviving the 2015 Iran nuclear agreement, the most extensive effort to shore up the accord since uh, President Sleepy took office in January, diplomats said Friday. Now, see, this is how you know that E runs the whole world. What 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 is E 
his uh, his counterparts. What's Ease Red Ass doing all the way over in Vienna? <clears throat> now, this is where it gets interesting. As you can see here. On the screen. Senior officials from all participants in the accord. Iran, France, Germany, the UK, Russia, China, and the EU, as well as top U.S. officials. A, in which all, all of those people, right? Iran has nuclear capability. France has nuclear capability. Germany has nuclear capability. The UK has nuclear capability. Russia has nuclear capability. China has nuclear capability. And basically... um. A good bit of the EU. Now you have certain members of the EU who do not have nuclear capability, right? But through um, like Germany, France, so on and so forth, basically they do. Even though they don't, really they do. Being part of the EU, that's that's uh, uh, that's part of that beast, okay? <clears throat> EU, NATO. Okay, it says um. Will gather in the Aus uh, in the Austrian capital starting Tuesday. Now, when you look at Austria, right? You look at Austria, you look at Hungary, you look at uh, Luxembourg, um, you know, and, and some other places close to there. Although they're basically considered nothing militarily. All right, you know, up under. Uh, up under Germany, really, they are they are a powerhouse. All right, because <clears throat> you have Germania Major and you have Germania Minor, <clears throat> which are two, which uh, basically are two um, faction. Both of those are two factions of uh, Esau Edom. All right, just like France, uh, you know, just like the UK, just like uh, you know, like I spoke on Germany. Those consist of mostly Edomites. <clears throat> For now, Iran has ruled out direct talks on nuclear matters with the U.S. However, both countries will attend the gathering, which is aimed at breaking a stalemate over Iranian compliance with the agreement and U.S. sanctions Slovakia against Tehran. So really, they're just saying that, okay, we're going. We're both going, right? But, but you know, it talks about peace and safety. Man, it's it's not going to go well, man. And even if they say it went well, it's not true. All right, these damn devils have lied about everything. So you think you think they're gonna come together just last minute and they're gonna come uh, to some agree uh, agreement? You know, Salakia. A face to face meeting between officials from the two countries over the nuclear agreement would be the first since late uh, 2017 uh, months before uh, the Trump administration withdrew from the deal in May 2018 so it's heating up All right, what was that about three years ago okay this deal was was uh, dissolved and which the Lord did that so now we at the time uh, three years after May 2018, roughly, and which now they're now they're talking about coming to get, coming together, having peace talks. There ain't gonna be no peace talks, man. All right, President Sleepy has said he wants the U.S. to return to the deal, <laughs> which placed strict but temporary limits on Iran's nuclear activities in exchange for a suspicion of international sanctions on Tehran. The Vienna meeting will aim at drawing up two separate agreements one with the u.s and with iran on steps they will take to return to the agreement and timetables for returning after senior officials from the various countries launch the discussions they will leave nuclear they will leave nuclear and sanctions experts to hammer out the details of the work <laughs> which, which that's a waste of damn time man they're not they're not coming to a conclusion the conclusion right is that uh, Iran is going to continue <laughs> to do what they do as far as building what they're building. All right, and the U.S. is going to do the same thing. Along with, along with these other countries, man. 
It says the Biden administration is sending it in Salaki, but that's that's biblical prophecy. Uh, and that's something that nobody can can triumph over or or um, uh, uh, sway or bend. You know, the Biden administration is sending a team of experts to Vienna, uh, though the State Department hasn't said if Rob Malley, the U.S. special envoy for our, for Iran, will attend. This is a first step, Mr. Malley said Friday on Twitter. Difficult decisions ahead, but on the right path. Over the past few weeks, um, uh, Washington and Tehran have exchanged proposals through European through European uh, intermediaries on the initial steps each might take. European and U.S. officials said, but those diplomatic efforts have been frustrated by lingering distrust between the two sides. Yeah, so the hey, A man, so E. <laughs> E don't trust Elam. Elam does not trust E, man. It says the um, the difficulty of negotiating technical issues through third parties and divisions within the Iranian ranks. The official said, "Yeah, and and that's because you got some of Elam, right? You got uh, a little percentage of Elam who wants to just submit. They want to submit to the so-called white man. They want to go back to McDonald's." They want to go back to Starbucks, you know. They want to. They want to go, quote unquote, uh, back to normal relations. Then you have a certain percentage of Elam out there who they're not having it. They're not having it. You you see them in the streets, you know. They you know they 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 doing all sorts of stuff. They burning uh, 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 mock representations, you know, of, of certain people, you know, burning uh, uh, certain representations of, of certain places, okay? And those places just so happen to be here, man. They burning uh, um, representations of, uh, uh, of different um, countries. Particularly ones that this place backs, man. All right. Uh, uh, Benjamin Ben Not a Jew, Benjamin Satan Yahoo. All right, he's there burning mock, um, mock effigies. <laughs> you know what I mean? They stomping on it, pouring gasoline, you know. And, and, and you know exactly what I mean, man. They they're not they're not rocking with E, cause you you can tell that some of some of Elon is gonna hey they're going to push that um they're gonna push that resistance tip man. They not even they not even gonna want to come and have peace talks with E. Okay, it says um on Friday morning the remaining participants in the deal spoke via video conference. In a statement, the EU chair of the body which oversees the nuclear accord confirmed negotiations will take place in Vienna next week. <clears throat> the goal is to make headway before Tehran holds uh, presidential elections in June, a milestone that could lead to a new Iranian uh, negotiating team and more delays, and before Iran takes further steps to expand its nuclear efforts and limit international monitoring and through the spirit um you know every single time you have another place doing elections you got uh you got the so-called white man trying to uh, uh sneak his red ass up in there try to do a uh, coup d'etat they try to bring in somebody that's pushing uh uh uh, uh demo crassy okay <laughs> they up uh, you know they, they, they try to push that agenda, man. They try, ultimately, they're trying to push the agenda of the so-called white man. All right. A senior EU official said it would likely take weeks to agree on a timetable for the U.S. Uh, and Iran to, uh, uh, to return to the deal, but that he hoped the discussions could be wrapped up by late May. Uh, it will take additional time to implement any agreement meaning a possible full return to compliance with the agreement may not 
uh, happen before a new Iranian president takes office. There are so basically they're like, okay, you gonna, what are you gonna do to us? You know that they, see that's how Sleepy and his crew is thinking like, okay, well, we gotta we gotta figure this out. You know. <laughs> before before they have their elections, man. Because you never know through the spirit. All right, you can have a guy who, you know, they could either have the same old, you know, the same guy be president. Or they can have somebody new. But either either way, either way, it's going to be all out warfare. Because you could get a guy up in there who's just like, hey. I'm not I'm not having that shit that the last guy had. I'm about to turn up, you know. You gonna have, you know, a certain percentage that's with it, a certain percentage that's not with it. Alright? The A, the Lord is putting the spirit on uh all the nations to divide. Ultimately the only people that's coming together is is the elect of Israel. You know? It says <clears throat> Uh, there are really significant technical and really significant political uh, constraints on both sides, said Henry Rome, senior Iran analyst at Eurasia Group in Washington. I think ultimately there is enough interest on both sides for making this happen, but we shouldn't underestimate the challenge of getting to yes. All right, so <laughs> they're trying to play that snake charmer music. You know, when you got the little dude with the little flute, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, you see the snake going back and forth. <laughs> they trying to play that snake charmer music. Yeah, you can't charm this snake. You can't charm E. All right, we, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. No, nah, man, see, this devil, this devil wants you destitute. He don't want you with any sort of uh, protection. All right, that's ultimately why they're coming up with all these weapons. They they, they want protection. Yeah, you you're not gonna get carnal protection from E because he's he's got that covered. The only way to fight uh, Esau is through the spirit. It says the current stalemate stems from disputes that arose in 2018 when then President DJT withdrew from the deal, describing it as seriously flawed. He called for a new pact halting all nuclear enrichment in Iran, uh, stopping Iran's development of nuclear-capable missiles and ending Tehran's support for militant groups. Um, Iran began to exceed the limits of the nuclear deal in July 2019, and in January said that it had started to produce 20% enriched uranium. Uh, in February, a UN Atomic Agency report said Iran began to produce a small amount of uranium metal, which is barred under the accord. Former, former officials like it, say those steps appeared calculated to increase pressure on Washington to remove sanctions without collapsing the entire 2015 deal. Uh, Sleepy's administration officials have said they hope to use a restored deal as a basis for a follow-up arrangement that would impose more enduring limits uh, on Iran's nuclear activities and deal with Tehran's ballistic missile program. <laughs> yeah, man. Which they gonna keep. They are gonna keep the missiles. Okay, they're gonna keep the missiles. <clears throat> the missiles ain't going nowhere. You think they working tirelessly? A lot of them scientists. A lot of them people that are building these different things. They sleeping three hours a day. You think they doing all this? To, you know. It's taking all that time away from their kids, all that time away from their uh, 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 wives. See, just like they are in a, uh, a, they're in a carnal war. All right, okay. Ultimately, the men of the Lord, we are in a spiritual war. That's why we don't, you know, we, you know, although you know, you may be around your family, you may be around your woman, you're not really worried about them. You're not giving a shit. All right, because we are in a spiritual war. It's just like these scientists, man. They not seeing, they not seeing their wife. They're not seeing their kids. They sleeping three hours a day. All right. Sometimes they don't sleep at all. Iran began to exceed the limits of the nuclear deal in July 2019. Right. And in January, it said it had 
started to produce 20% enriched uranium, which I'm no, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, engineer, no chemical engineer, nothing like that, but I'm pretty sure you could, you can make s some things, uh, uh, get to popping with 20%. I'm pretty sure. All right. It says, um, on Friday, Iranian foreign minister Javad Zarif said Iran will only move back into compliance with the deal once the U.S. lifts its, its sanctions, which that ain't happening. He also dismissed the prospect of direct U.S. talks. No Iran-U.S. meeting unnecessary, he said on Twitter. So he's one of those people that's ready to get it popping. All right. It says in the two months that Mr. Biden has held office, the talks have been through a uh, series of dizzying twists and turns. European nations that were party to the agreement on February 18th Produce, uh, Slovakia proposed talks at which U.S. and Iranian officials would meet face to face. So you even you got uh, all these other European nations that are basically, ch you know, trying to get these two bullies to become friends. Which the big the big bully is trying to bully the little bully. And now you got these European nations who are also bullies trying to get them to come together. And be friends. That's not how it's happening, E. And that's not how it's happening, Elam. All right? Neither y'all are up next. Neither y'all, you know, neither y'all are going to push forward an agenda for peace. All right? <clears throat> and even if you try, the Lord isn't going to allow that. But the Iranians refused to meet with the Americans, saying that initial uh, steps to revive the agreement, formerly known as the JCP. Uh, a joint comprehensive plan of action should be agreed upon first. So there you go. So, you know, E is trying to buy them off. Okay, one billion. Pfft. What's that? That's not shit. All right, did we not pass a uh, uh, a $1.2 trillion, right? Uh, 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 COV package? Come on, man. 